Greetings, it's Adam with the Rata Non Grata, and back with some action on the Atari Jaguar with Doom by id Software. And what's interesting about this version, aside from the criticism that everybody uh, mentions when this version pops up that it has no music during the game, is that it was designed by John Carmack and the others at id who worked on the PC version. As well, one thing that is slightly different about it is that it runs in a higher color range than the original or the PC Doom. As I, re if I'm recalling the numbers correctly, PC the PC version used 8-bit color, which is 256 colors. The Jaguar uses 16-bit color, which is 65,000 colors. Although I could be wrong, this also could be 24-bit color, which is 16.7 million. Um, just Either way, there are there's a deeper color palette to it, and there are lighting effects on the Jaguar version as well, which sometimes look neat. And otherwise, I know a lot of things are pretty similar. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if it's a one to one on the map layouts and, and everything, but it's it does fit pretty well. I'm slightly rusty at this just because I haven't played. Doom, or the first one in a while, I've probably played more Doom 2 in recent-ish memory than the first Doom, but for a 4 megabyte cartridge, it fit in things in pretty well for what you might want on Doom, but uh, I'm just going to play this till I die. Now, there is a point in the game where I was headed to through. I was going through the toxic refinery, and I encountered something that had never happened to me before in the years that I've played the Jaguar version, and that is I somehow crashed the game. And so, uh, yeah, I guess I, that while well, that could happen on the uh, when you're networked and linking two Jags together, it was pretty common that it would crash and whatnot. But I guess I stepped into an area that it wasn't supposed to go. Now, when it comes to the sound, that's, again, the biggest criticism against this version, but it was, well, there is a mod out there. It hasn't been released to the public yet. I can't remember the exact name, but it is a version of Jaguar Doom that restores the music, but there are some other enhancements that they're adding to it. I also can't recall what those are, but there are videos online of it uh, where it shows it Jaguar version running with music and these other improvements. Uh, hopefully it'll come along in 2024, who knows when exactly, but uh, it'd be interesting to see that. And John Carmack himself did mention that the when he was asked about the Jaguar and programming on it, I mean he didn't have the kindest of words for it. Uh, I mean he liked some things about it, but there were some other things he didn't like. But he did mention that if he had gone and back with what he knew after creating this, he would have approached it in a different way, probably would have made it run more efficiently and uh, been able to do the music and all that stuff. And so, uh, or maybe add even more effects, who knows. But that, that's somewhat typical with developers, particularly with weird, quirky, difficult to program hardware is, you know, the first time or two that they work on it, it's not the greatest, and then they improve, you know, they learn from that experience, and then they can do better the second time, and that's when you get what's called second generation or third generation hard or software uh, for a game console. Most game consoles go through that, at least back in the day, that was more common to see these big improvements in software between the first games and the last games, and the Jaguar version of Doom came out in 1994. I so if I recall correctly, it was like the 10th release for the system, and it did come out after Wolfenstein 3D, so I believe they were able to at least get their feet wet with Wolf 3D first, which that one is a fantastic port, and to me, that one's superior to the PC version. But, uh, of course, depends on who you ask, what's the best console version of Doom out there, but I would say that the Jaguar version is pretty respectable, <laughs> and pretty good overall and sure could have used some extra work and perhaps the best place where it is 
played at is uh, when you're networking two Jaguars together, but again, there is that one little fault of it having networking errors. Um, however, the smaller the map that you play, the better that that goes along, and it's a lot more stable. And don't open the maps. <laughs> For some reason, if you open the auto map function in multiplayer, it really slows the game to a crawl. Um, but there are other games out there that do networking just fine, such as uh, Battlesphere. I've never played air cars networked, so I don't know how that's supposed to go. But uh, either way, here's Doom until I die. So uh, happy birthday to Doom as well, as it's the 30th anniversary of that game this year, as is the 30th anniversary of the Atari Jaguar. So kind of two anniversaries in one here. But uh, keep on watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.